In addition to being an author, life coach, podcast host, and motivational speaker, Candace Sanchez is also a sexual abuse survivor who shares her story to let others know they're not alone. Natalie Shepard sat down with Sanchez to talk about her advocacy work and how she'll be recognized at a Denim Day event later this month. Welcome to another episode of Unspoken Conversations with Candace. Candace Sanchez is used to having tough conversations. Addressing trauma, making sure we're having boundaries in place, right? She describes her podcast as a safe space for anyone with trauma to be heard. I wanted to offer that to other survivors of sexual assault, domestic violence, abuse, uh, the topics we don't talk about. I just want to recognize the growth that we've had. Unspoken, Conversations with Candace is now in its third season. And Sanchez sat down to record a candid conversation with her daughter, I have my two amazing daughters. Victoria Slomsky. I am a mom of one. The minute I'm not busy doing something. You're I'm having to reflect. Absolutely. Reflect. On your trauma. And Adriana Cruz. I'm a mom. Recording with her mom for the first time. Like, you can't ignore them because they just sit there and they don't go away until you deal with them. They've watched their mother transform from sexual assault survivor to an advocate who's thriving. It started with her book, Unspoken, which she published in 2020. It's a one word title because I wasn't supposed to tell. In it, she tells her story of surviving childhood sexual abuse from the first person she told, her high school boyfriend. I was eight months pregnant and you know, I was, I was 17, I was senior in high school pregnant. Then perhaps the more difficult conversation with her mother. You know, it was hard to tell my mom I didn't want to hurt my mom. So it was my stepfather. Yes, so it was her husband. She also focuses on the hard work to heal that came afterwards. And then in my 20s, I realized it was having an effect on me personally and professionally. I was still carrying this trauma. It kind of took away our innocence. It's trauma that also impacted Cruz and Slomsky. I feel like, you know, these types of traumas affect the whole family. But Sanchez's healing journey has too. We have a better relationship now because of it. And it took a lot to like get here. And there's been like bumpy roads and, you know, hard, tough conversations that you have to have. Here is a safe place, right? Sanchez now tells her story as a motivational speaker and life coach. Candace's level of success is unique, but her story isn't. Shireen Horn is vice president of Well Community Aurora Healthcare. She's known Candace for several years through Aurora Healing and Advocacy Services. And when you see someone that went through that same walk you went through and they came out on the other side okay, it gives hope. Aurora is honoring Sanchez at its Hope Shining Blue event this year with the Thrive Award. I'm excited for her. I think that it's a big deal. Proud. Yeah, I am really proud of her. Hope Shining Blue is an event honoring survivors of sexual and domestic violence. The Thrive Award is for someone who not only has experienced violence, but lived their life to now thrive. Knowing that I have you and that. And make a difference for others that have experienced what they've experienced. A recognition of her work. Thank you for being on another episode of Unspoken Conversations <laughs> with Victoria. <Candace>. Yeah. <laughs> making space for others to thrive too. That to me, bottom line, I'm making a difference and making an impact.